Hello everyone, Rahul Shah here, trying to make investing accessible and profitable for the average investor. Now, less than six months ago, I had published a video on Visaka Industries arguing how the risk reward equation of investing in the stock seems to be in favor of investors. It was not a recommendation, but a suggestion to keep the stock in your watch list. You see, my definition of a penny stock is a stock that is trading at a two digit price irrespective of its market cap and liquidity. Visaka, with its share price of rupees 82 per share, perfectly fit this description. It was indeed trading at a double digit price. However, it no longer does so. This is because its price has moved up considerably since then and has gone up more than 80% as I record this video. Yes, that's right. Visaka Industries has seen its share price go up by a whopping 80% in less than six months flat. Now the credit for this goes to its recently inaugurated solar panel roofing segment. It is the first of its kind integrated solar roof where the company has secured a patent not just in India but also in US and South Africa. The company has also commenced exports to Africa and the Middle East. Now let me add here that while the prospects of this division look promising indeed, its contribution to the overall revenues of Visaka Industries is still quite negligible. It is still a very small portion of the company's overall business. Why then are investors going gung-ho about the stock you may wonder? Why has it gone up 80% in the last six months despite the monetization of its solar roof division being negligible so far? Well, the stock price appreciation seems to be the consequence of Prime Minister Modi's big announcement of last month. You see, immediately after the Ram Mandir consecration, Prime Minister Modi set the ball rolling on a new scheme to boost rooftop solar installations. Now, here's him outlining the plan. I quote, Today, on the auspicious occasion of the consecration of life in Ayodhya, my resolve has been further strengthened that the people of India should have their own solar rooftop system on the roof of their houses. The first decision I have taken after returning from Ayodhya is that our government will launch Pradhan Mantri Suryoday Yojana with the target of installing rooftop solar on 1 crore houses." Unquote. Now this is big. Just to put things in perspective, only about 7 lakh households are estimated to have rooftop solar installations currently. Modi's new scheme proposes to multiply this number by a whopping 15 times. No wonder stocks like Visaka Industries, which have expertise in this area, have suddenly become the new favorites with the investors. On 20th January 2024, the last trading day before Modi's big announcement, Visaka Industries was priced at Rs. 102 per share. In almost a one-way ride since then, the stock has climbed more than 40% and looks primed to go even higher. Those are big gains indeed. However, let's wear the hat of a contrarian investor for a moment and think whether this euphoria is justified. After all, we have no idea whether this deal will take off and to what extent. And even if it does, how much of the benefits will flow to companies like Visaka Industries? And hence, unless we have some numbers to rest our opinions upon, investing in the stock just because of the massive announcement is akin to indulging in speculation in my view. Here's how I will evaluate the situation. When I came out with the video, the stock was trading at a small discount to book value. Now the reason I felt that the risk reward was in investors' favor is because it wasn't valued egregiously based on its historical valuations. In fact, it was slightly undervalued. Therefore, even a small growth in earnings from the present levels would have seen the stock give above average returns from a one to two year perspective. Now, I did not assign 
any valuation to the new business of solar rooftop as the company was just starting out in this segment. Cut to the present and the stock is trading at almost 1.7, 1.8 times its current book value. This means that the new business is being valued nearly as much as the current business. Investors are willing to value the solar rooftop business almost at par with the current business. Is this justified? Now as someone who has no understanding of how this new business will pan out, my answer would be no. Since I have very little knowledge of the new business, I would be more comfortable not assigning any value to it and evaluating the stock based on its current earnings power. Now this may not be the case for someone who has a good understanding of the solar rooftop business and hence can quantify the business opportunity that stares Visaka Industries in the face. For him, the stock may look significantly undervalued even at the current valuations. Thus it all boils down to being honest with oneself and carrying out one's valuations accordingly. At the end of the day, your returns on the stock will not depend on whether you bought Visaka Industries at rupees 80 or rupees 140. It will depend on how honest you were with respect to your understanding of the business. If you believe its best days are still ahead of it, you can make money even at the current valuations. But if you can evaluate only the current business and not the new one, then maybe you should not pay any premium over what it has commanded in the past. Now the approach may sound simple, but trust me, it can take you quite far in investing. So that's all from me today. I'll see you again in the next session. Goodbye and happy investing.